Hi. 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 Um, Hi. I'm Evan Chokia. And I'm Ariana Grande. And we're here with the We Love Pop Carrier Bag of Questions. Carrier Bag of Questions. So many questions. Come in. One moment. So many questions. I have no idea. I'm cheating. No, let's not cheat. Okay, let's not cheat. Alright. I'm nervous. Oh, wait. This is a long one. You should be. Style and substance. What qualities should the perfect gentleman have? Do you have them? Do you have the stuff? Do you have the perfect gentleman? Yeah, Are you asking me? I don't know. Should I ask myself? I'm doing it yourself. Myself. Ask yourself. Um, I don't know. I think you, I think be, being kind and always being cordial and because um, you never know what situation you're, you're in or who you're talking to or what they're comfortable with. So I mean, okay. being, I think being cordial and kind of maybe not so offensively you, just like being nice until you get to know the person and then you can be like, oh, don't drop the bag of questions and they'll be on the floor and the thing will be ruined. Um, yeah, so that's I think the, the gentleman should have. I, if, do I have those? I think uh, I try. I think do you think he has those? Maybe. I think he does. Evan is a really nice person, and he's really genuine. Well, I'm, let's pretend you're in here. He's like genuinely nice to people even before he knows like how bored they are. Like oh. everyone loves Evan. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't want to say everyone. Everyone loves Evan. And if they don't, there's some silly reason that that is not true. He's very lovable. Very nice. Let's have a look. Let's get them out. Very pretty. Under my shoes. What if you answer, What if you asked me this question? I was literally like pirate toes. <laughs> say, like, I love pirate, pirate toes. toes. No. Um. Yeah. So that makes last sound weekend, good. Right before I left for London. So a few days ago. That's good. I'm in luck. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Leon Thomas. Hi, I'm Danielle Monet, and we're here with We Love Pop, and we've got what is this? A big old bag of questions. So we're about to dig in and uh, answer a couple. Let's get it going. All right, here it is. Okay, I got one. Past and present, which dead celeb do you wish you could go back in time and snog? <gasps> Do you not know what snogging is? No, kiss, what's kiss? Snogging's kissing. Ah. Yeah. That's a new English lingo for you to use over the next few days. James Dean. Okay, good or answer. Elvis. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice, my turn. I got my eye on this. Alright. Brain and body. What makes you really angry? Um, <laughs> I get really mad when people start a sentence. Hey, what's up, man? Hi. Hey. What's going on, dude? Hey. Carry on. I get really mad when people start to tell me something and then say, oh, no, forget it. Uh, that yeah. is annoying. I hate that. I yes, like, that's the I'm last like, yeah. thing. Do you push so, them to tell you? Oh, you like, Come push, on. Like, because they know, because they know it pushes my buttons. Like, yeah. I gotta see it. I'm with you on that one. And lying. Uh, yeah. Oh. We get to play more? Yeah, keep going. Just get on in there. Play it by it until you get bored. Fame and fortune. Who's the most famous person you've ever flirted with? Woo. Oh my goodness. Woo. Flirted with? I don't know. <laughs> Come on. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, Surely the last hot famous person you met you flirted with. with. I don't know. I don't know when I'm really flirting. I feel like I just like to get to know people. Well, so who was the last really hot famous person you met? Really hot famous person. Yeah. You must have flirted with them subconsciously. Oh gosh, I don't know. I don't really meet a lot of famous people. I'm from LA and I don't even meet a lot of famous people. Man. Do you? Let me tell you right now. <laughs> what? Let me tell you right this minute. What? Uh, I met I met Megan Good. And who's I, who's that? Megan Good. She's a oh, she's, she's a famous actor. Oh, okay. Yeah, in the states, and she's done like a bunch of movies. She's in like Bring It On. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. And, and I saw her at uh, at this red carpet, and she came up to me. and was like, "Hey, how you doing?" And I was just like, uh, "Hey, this is Elizabeth Gillies." And I'm Matt Bennett. And this, this is We Love Pops. Oh, carry a bag of goodies. <laughs> Okay. Questions, Questions, but carry on. Alright, okay. right. here we go. Take one. When was the last time you cut your toenails? Oh my god. Well, I got a pedicure. A couple weeks ago. I got a couple weeks ago. Weeks, weeks, really? Weeks. weeks. My, my toenails don't grow that fast. Mine either. My fingernails, though. I need a pedicure, though. It's weird. I was just talking about that. I've heard of it. You go. I've heard you have a web. I heard there's a website. Which member of One Direction would you most like to have a kiss with? What's One Direction? Have you not heard of them? The others had. One Direction are a massive boy band over here at the moment, basically, when, who were on the X Factor. Oh. But if you've not 
not heard of them, you can go to the next questions. The others have. Sorry, One Direction. I'm sure you're fantastic. You're so cute. What would we find under your bed? So boring, nothing. You wouldn't find anything. I have a trouble bed. You'd find a Besby frame. I don't have it. It's on the ground. Okay. We're so boring. We need a good one. What injury are you most scared of getting? A broken heart. Oh. Um, a no, but seriously, scabies. <laughs> is that still is that still <laughs> I'm most scared of getting like a broken I'm gonna I'm gonna wish it upon myself. This is gonna be my So I'm gonna double it with a broken heart. Although that would be a really good stimulus for writing. So like music. So I don't know, maybe I'd want one. Should I do another one? I've got the lucky ones. You've got the lucky ones, I get the hard ones. It's in bobs. What's the worst thing you've ever put in your mouth? You cheeky <laughs> Uh, what's the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth? <laughs> Liz, can you can help me with this one? Um, you can say, oh, I know, I can answer this for you perfectly. Matt, we were doing a, a promo for, um, like, winter for Christmas, oh. and there was all of this, uh, it, it was like, it looked like fucking snow. I can tell this. Okay. What, they were shooting us, like, they, they were spraying down orange snow, because Nickelodeon's color is orange. Okay. So, I thought, this is going to be a great idea. I'm going to put this in my mouth and spit it out of the camera. What made you think that would be a great idea? It looked like paper, that's it looked, it was confetti. Yeah. Okay. So it was like this little, like, thin paper that got stuck to the inside of my throat. It dissolved oh, yeah. in It dissolved in my mouth, so I went, boom! <laughs> nothing, nothing came out. It all got stuck in my throat, and I was like, I, it was What bad. did it taste I, like? So good. Just like, yeah, basically. So Really not like much, and I just ended up having to drink it now. It was bad. Uh, never eat orange snow. Never eat orange snow, or yellow, or brown. What would you have been in a past life, and why? What would you say? What would you, what would you have been in a past life and why? That's a really good question. I definitely think I was like, I see myself as being older and from maybe like the 60s or 70s. Okay. So I've always thought that. And uh, I've had, I had children. I have a couple theories. So you'd, you'd still be a human. You wouldn't be any sort of animal. You wouldn't I think, have... I think I'd be a human. Okay.